His first hire, Alex Marlowe, he was 21, became one of the best news editors in the world. So when you've lost Drudge, you've, you've lost Rush. How do you run the website bearing Andrew Bretbart's name? Larry O'Connell, a former Bretbart editor and friend of Andrew Bretbart, told CNN. Well, they're turning their back. Everybody's turning their back. Yes, it's a reminder. This guy is pond scum. You're talking about draining the swamp. He was telling, talking about draining the swamp. He is the swamp. It's amazing how these people just crash. They get they get greedy. They become narcissistic. And Trump's right. After he was let go by Kelly, uh, short circuit, something happened. Just a brain fart. Again, for Steve Bannon, for Michael Wolf, they better sell a hell of a lot of books. I think that's the only money. But but the left they're gonna have the, they're gonna have these guys on every single channel, and they're gonna try to milk this as big as they possibly can because they're because it talks right into their narrative. But again, this does not put them part of the conservative agenda at all. <laughs> they're actually part of the problem. And I and right now I would recommend both of them change your party affiliation, become a Democrat because essentially that's what you've done treasonous <laughs> Donald Trump Jr. Ivanka dumb as a box of brick. Give me a brick. Really? What you've done, sir, is dumber than anything and, and, and that Ivanka or Donald Trump or Melania or anybody involved with the Trump White House has ever done. You've just destroyed your career, you moron. But anyway, that's the that's the big convo. It's really a shame. But it was timed perfectly. Here it is, the beginning of January. Got the stock market up 125, I mean, record high, uh, record low unemployment, earnings, uh, employment uh, through the roof. Going into 2018, looking very positive with numbers and for this country. And this is the conversation that has to start 2018 with this book. This is playing it right into the swamp. But again, anybody listening to this broadcast, I don't think you're surprised. Don't think you're surprised the least that this comes out. And good point, Rush Limbaugh, making after all that Bannon was probably the leaker after all. And uh, the big question, a lot of people are wondering, why was it, and it's kind of perplexing to a certain degree, why was Wolf? allowed privilege if he was controversial, if he was what they say he is, and unreliable, then why did why did they allow him in the White House? It's it's a very, very a fair question. Uh, he says he had access to two hundred people. I mean you could have access to two hundred people at you know subway stop there at Columbus Circle, talk to two hundred people. Uh, didn't take notes, didn't have a recorder, and the guy doesn't claim that he has a photographic memory. So this is his portrait. This is his claims of things that happened in the White House. And again, you know, there's very few excerpts that have come out. But the book is on sale now at retailers everywhere. So if you want to buy the book, you want to look at it, I, I'm just not going to give into it. I We're, we're talking about it, but you know, I'm certainly definitely not going to spend the the extra change in the book to uh, read with more of the insults with the first family and with Donald Trump, who is absolutely brilliant, in my opinion. You don't become president uh, being a absolute moron. Yeah, there's people around him, obviously, like Kellyanne Conway, uh, which I think is unbelievably talented and so smart. Uh, Steve Bannon, I, I, short circuit, buddy. Uh, you, it's t maybe mental asylum. Uh, maybe he had a breakdown. Uh, maybe that's possible. I mean, he's just not right. But uh, yeah, Brett Bart, there he's he's gone. They're they're not going to fund him. They're not going to give him any more money. But you know, it's it's just it's it's sad uh, to a certain degree because you know Donald Trump, I think, is 
has been a trusting guy. And this is what he gets. He gets kicked, kicked in the teeth uh, for this. And I think there's a lot of people that were a little shell-shocked, to be honest with you. Um, they did, you know, they didn't want the release of the book because the guy obviously was allowed into the West Wing. He was there in the White House. Uh, President is, you know, saying that, uh, you know, the, the, the things are completely falsified. Uh, Sarah Huckabee described Wolf's books, uh, his book rather, as the president's allies increasingly raise questions about Wolf's credibility. Trump's lawyer sent Wolf and his publisher a cease and desist letters, but that didn't work out. Uh, Sanders, what did she describe Wolf's book as just lies and fabrications? And that's basically what they're saying. And this is a, a love. Uh, this is a this is a brawl. He's a provocator. We said he loves a brawl. And once uh, uh, the glare of the spotlight hits him and the bigger disappointment of watching it, move on. <laughs> that was talking about Wolf in his book. Uh, this will pass, folks. This this will be front and center for probably at least the news cycle for another two or three weeks. Uh, it's sad. It's disappointing to a certain degree. But good riddance. Moving on. And at least it's the first part of January. Uh, hell of a way. Not, I'm not. No, am I shocked? I, like I said, I am not shocked. Nor should you be shocked. Uh, it's just more garbage. And this is the kind of stuff that, if you're really committed to the conservative agenda, this is the kind of stuff and ridicule that you're going to get. You're going to have people. But it's great that they've come out. At least we know who they really are now. At least they have really made it abundantly clear that they are not on the same page. They weren't players. And it, it, it's, it becomes clear he, he's probably the leaker. I mean, he revealed himself with the real slim and shady. Please stand up. He stood up showing his real values. When you serve at the pleasure of the president, uh, you may not agree with everything that the president has to say, but there's a level of respect. And people had it with Obama. There's a lot of people that worked for Obama that didn't like it, even with Bush, even with Reagan. But there was a level of respect for the president of the United States. And where is that gone? I think people have really lost something in this country. Not a surprise in Washington by any means. But they will sell out for how much the publisher, I mean, that, that information will come out. How much money did they make off that book? Like I say, I hope it's a lot of money to keep them well into retirement and maybe take care of their behinds. But uh, to sell our president out, sell our country, and make themselves look like idiots, was it really worth it, guys? You tell me. ForThePeopleShow.com. You can weigh in at For the People Show on Facebook. We'll be back right after this. It's done like anything you've ever been through in your life, man. I was driving. This uh, kid threw a grenade at us and went right over our vehicle. It was 12 years old. The shockwave went through my head, rattled up my brain, and left. Danger is around you 360 degrees at all times, and you can't unlearn that. It's impossible to describe the sacrifices these men and women have made to protect our freedoms. And the job of rebuilding their lives is massive and growing every day. Many will need the programs offered by the Wounded Warrior Project for years to come. I didn't know what PTSD was. All I knew is I was having nightmares. And when I got released, my reintegration was, go check in at the VA, man. My first coping mechanism was use drugs. Just numb it, don't feel anything. I was angry. I'm trying to pull myself out of that right now. Your gift today of $19 per month will honor and empower these veterans so they can aid and assist each other. The Wounded Warrior Project is a life raft 
I can say this without question that I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for it. The Women Wear Project is, is the first step getting back out into the world and reforming yourself outside of the service. Call or go online with a pledge of $19 a month. You'll receive this Wounded Warrior Project blanket, and your gift will provide critically needed programs that rebuild lives. That was my first feeling of actually being a part of something bigger than myself again. Well, I lost a few really close friends overseas, and if I quit, I'm going to let them down, and I'm not about to do that. I'm learning to face my fears head on. To trust and see what happens at the end. It's a long process, but I had the drive and desire. Please, call or go online with your gift right now. For the people is there. Your American Heritage. When the giant liner Lusitania steamed out of New York Harbor in May of 1915, no one could foretell the significance of the voyage. Under the green depths of the Atlantic, German submarine Captain Schweiger took careful periscope aim and fired one torpedo. The Lusitania sank, losing 1,190 people, including 120 Americans. The nation was enraged by this murderous act and called for blood. President Woodrow Wilson withstood the pressure for two years, but when the Germans broke their pledge and resumed submarine warfare, he relented, and young America was plunged into World War I. This has been Don Keyes with a periscope view of another word picture on your American heritage. Keeping your American heritage alive on For the People Weekend. Find out more at our website at forthepeopleshow.com. With all the choices out there to enjoy some entertainment, wouldn't it just be nice to have something that didn't cost an arm or a leg? I found something that does just that. It's called 123 Ready TV. It's one of the most remarkable apps available to start watching all of those movies and TV shows for one incredible price, just $19.99. And that's a one-time only price. Recap, all your movies, current and classic, and sports and news, and so much more. So cut the cable and stop spending money at the movies when you can truly have it all at your fingertips. No commercials, just all the entertainment you desire. 123 Ready TV is available for Windows and all Android devices. Get your 123 Ready TV for just $19.99 at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Just click on the store page to get yours now and start enjoying entertainment the way it was supposed to be. Fun. For the People provides all the news each weekday without the spin. Just common sense and analysis of what's going on. The mainstream media wants to destroy Trump and this country. We won't allow it. And millions of Americans like you agree. Today, we need your help if we're going to stand up against big money and liberal media bias. Our talk show is 100% listener supported. Can we count on you for a monthly or one-time donation? Log on to our website at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Your giving goes a long way, and we appreciate your support as we bring you the news, stories, and ideas that are not being heard over the mainstream media. Channels like FNN, the fake news network. You can always count on the truth with us with thoughtful and insightful analysis of today's headlines with conservative family values. To join us, log on to our website at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. It's For The People Weekend. I am Keith Allen. Could you keep me in your prayers? I'm going to be having one of those meetings with one of those broadcasters. Uh, It's a good thing uh, to talk about the future of Keith Allen and For The People and all that good stuff. And we're just trying to find a place, a home. Uh, whether it's on a radio network, um, a radio station that has uh, values, conservative values, and it would be nice to find a good match. So I'm shopping uh, the show around and to see if there's any interest. And there was definitely a lot of interest out of New York and with some syndicators that really liked it, but it was uh, they wanted more control. Um, to be quite honest with the show, for advertisers, wanted to do different things with it. And at the time, I was restricted uh, to a network that uh, had had a special clock, and 
uh, the syndicators would have had to take it all over. So I did not make a deal with them. 